Uh, first, <clears throat> I like to start this way. Just lift the fin up if you can. Go under that fin and right behind the gill plate there. And cut down until you hit the bones. And then I go along the backbone down here on the same side. And you'll come down and you can cut through the little uh, Y bone or whatever you call them that attaches the rib cage to the backbone. <clears throat> Once I did that on that side, just get it started. It makes it easier <clears throat> if you, before you take the flesh off that side, you go back to the other side and do the same thing. So just do that on this side. Just take the meat right down off the. <clears throat> Once you cut through those Y bones, then you can take the meat off the rib cage. You can just do that by a sequence of strokes along the rib cage. Take it down to the tail. It's pretty easy to just cut it down. It does have, help having a really sharp knife. So once you've done cutting it off, that's kind of what you end up with. Uh, the rib cage is already gone. All you got left is this uh, one strip of bones right here that I like to cut out. Uh, but before I do that, we'll take off the other side. So once you got that done, you can get rid of this part. If you want, it's gone. And as you can see, it uh, takes most of the meat. There isn't too much left there. It's gone. Uh, the pin bones, they right, they run right through here. If you put your finger on there and run it backwards towards the tail, they usually pop up and you can see them better. I usually like starting on the top of the bone and cutting down along them because they kind of turn towards the top like that. So I think if you start on this side, <clears throat> you end up cutting out less meat. Some people skip this step because uh, they feel it takes out some meat, but to tell you the truth, if you want to eat all these bones or get them, that's no fun. So it's more enjoyable if you take out this little bit of meat here. And if you kind of just run your finger down along there where you cut them out, 
Usually it comes out pretty nice. I'll just loosen this up a little bit more. So it just comes out like that. You're left with a thin strip of meat with all the bones in it, if you can see the bones there. Just clean up, there's a few more in here. This is the part where you take the meat off the skin. Uh, it's a little difficult on newspaper, it's easier on uh, a cutting board this part. Lay it out flat there. Start at the base, wiggling, you know, and uh, just kind of wiggle your knife from all the way up. Like that. You're left with your nice fillet of your fish. And at the end of it, you're left with a nice bowl of uh, rainbow trout fillets. Okay.